Oh, g'day guys, it's Sam here on this episode of Tech Tip Check and Tip and Tuesday. We're talking all things nut certs. So what the hell is a nut cert and why do I want to show you guys? Well, I've been working on cars since, geez, since I can remember. Oh, what are you... Hello, babe? Hey. Yeah, sorry, phone call from the boss there. So what I was saying, nuts it. I figured this out recently. Actually, my dad showed me this and he's like, I've been using these for ages. I'm like, how did I never see this? Basically what it is, it means any flat surface or um, somewhere that you can't get to the back of in the car, you can drill a hole, put this nut cert in and it actually makes it a threaded fitting so you can just put a bolt onto it. Because how many times you go and like put something on and you gotta like get your hand in behind, put a spanner on there and then put the, the bolt on the other side while you got the nut trying to keep that still, like it's, it's hard work. So I've got the perfect example of my patrol at the moment. I made a, um, a bracket for my fuel filler, ended up just texturing it in, they've come loose. Can't get to the behind of it to get an actual um, nut in there. So I'm gonna use nut cert. So I'll show you guys how they work and um, you'll probably not grab one for yourself because honestly, it's just changed my life. It makes things, it finishes things off properly as well. It makes it look way more professional. So, so pretty much in the box, it's just a small case. So this is a, um, what is it? So this is Tool Pro brand and um, it gives you four different sizes of nut cert, so that's bolts that can go in there. And these in here is just little fittings. So these fittings actually have different thread sizes for those bolts. And um, I've gone the biggest size for my one. So I've actually, um, you know, because it's quite a thick fitting and, and the um, fuel hose is gonna be quite rough the way I use it. Uh, I just want it to be strong. I've also got, just in my drawers here, a few spares of all, so these are even bigger again. So this is from my dad's one, he's got a larger one than me. Um, and these are the, the brass fittings that, or zinc coated ones that I got with my thing. So there's plenty of um, replacing my bobs there. I've actually, here's one I used on my snorkel. So flashback to when I put that on. I think I did get a footage, but I didn't end up using it on the video. But there's actually nut certs that hold that on there. So there's two bolts in there. Pretty tricky to get into those ones, but it definitely made a difference when putting that on because, you know, what are you going to do, pot rivet it? That's permanent. You can't really get behind there because you've got to pull all the interior stuff out on that bay pillar there. So, just made life easy. So, let's jump to the car and see what we're going to work with. All right, guys, it's time for me to announce the winners of the drawing competition that I held recently. It was for all the young legends out there. Look, we had a whole lot of entries. Some awesome drawings came through and I've picked a winner for Instagram and Facebook. So, the Facebook winner was Hamish Bean. 14 year old, absolute legend. I've met him before actually, so he's come in and won this competition as well with a wicked drawing of my patrol. Um, then the Instagram winner, we had some other entries on there and uploaded on his mum's page. It was Zach Watson, an 11 year old legend. He actually did a wicked drawing, nicely colored in as well. So both those guys will have their name engraved and put on a little plaque inside the Build Not Bought truck forever. For as long as I'm gonna have it, that is gonna be there. So congratulations, guys. So now it's sorted, we'll head back to the video. Okay, all right, so we're down here now. I'm not sure if you can actually see in here, but I'll get some B-roll of what's going on. There's three tech screws that are put into this bar. So this is uh, the main brace for my tray that I built. So I've just screwed into that, but the whole thing's welded up, sealed up, so we can't get in there. So I'm gonna nut set these and it should finish it off so much better. What you gotta do is get these out, you've actually gotta drill the holes to match. So this has got written on here, on each fitting on the end of this tool, it's got what size bolt is going in. So this is an M6. So I'd say you put a six mil drill bit, probably 6.5, actually, I lied completely. That's not how you do it. You wanna, you wanna measure the fitting that's gonna go in there. So, um, you want to drill the hole this size. I've got a vernier, which I'll grab. The trusty vernier, this will actually measure accurately what size things are. So if I chuck that on this here, 8.87, so I reckon a nine mil drill bit. Nine mil is, whoa, I thought it was one that was missing, which is an 8.5, lucky. All right, get these off, these three old ones. So once we pull them off, look, well, that's, that's not even threaded, that's how hammered it is. Yeah, technique use there, you just put your thumb behind the uh, bolt as it comes out, and that's how you lose your fingernail. Or you could pull the whole bracket. Dang, like that. All right, so now they're out of the way. We'll drill these nine mil holes. 
So they're already obviously got holes in there, so ready to go. All right, so you just screw onto the end here, bring that up. This takes a bit of muscles, which I don't have, but we'll see how we go. Oh my God. Come on. I'm so weak. Oh. Good if they put bigger handles on it. So what that's doing is squeezing the back end of it. So you see I've got one nut set in there. I'll go do the other two and then screw that bolt in. And there you go. Well, there you have it, guys. That's it for this week's Tech Tip Tip Tech Tuesday. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you like and subscribe to this channel for many more uploads, videos, and interesting techniques and tips about working on your own car. Make sure you drop a comment below if you want to see any specific products or techniques that you want me to show you guys. Or if you're a business and have your own products that you want me to test out and review for you guys, drop a comment down below or send me a message and um, we can check it out. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. <laughs> I've just spent three months doing engine upgrades on my motor here and I've been told I'm not allowed to turn the key until you press subscribe. Please press subscribe.